Hello friends. So once again, I welcome you to my channel. In our last video, we have seen some numericals on addressing mode. In this video also, we are going to solve some problems on addressing mode. So the problem is, it is also similar to our gate numerical. The contents of memory locations, this, this, this are like these three values that we have written here. And before the program is executed, the um, before the and these values are there before the program has started its execution. Then this program will be executed. The question is after the program is executed, what will be the value of memory location 1000, 5000, 6000, and the value of register R1, R2? These are your general purpose CPU registers, right? And we need to calculate the number of memory references for each of the instructions given. So already we are quite familiar with counting number of references. So we'll do that quickly. So move has 5000 comma R1. This is immediate addressing mode. While solving this, we'll be following the rules that already we have learned in uh, discussing our addressing modes. So those rules we are going to apply here. So move has 5000 comma R1. Meaning is immediate data 5000 will be moved to R1. So where is 5000 part of instruction already instruction is in IR where is R1 R1 is also in processor register so to execute this instruction how many memory references do we need only one that one is for what for fetching the instruction from memory after that everything will be with us we'll just perform the operation that means R1 will be loaded with 5000 then the next one is index addressing mode here instruction sorry here operand will be there in the memory and what is the address of the operand r1's content plus 100 from that address data will be moved to r2 so here how many references two one is for instruction fetch and another one is to fetch the data whose address is 100 plus content of r1 please remember 100 plus r1 while you are doing that you need not have to go to memory 100 is part of the instruction r1 is cpu register so here you require two memory references because the memory operand is appearing in the role of source. Next one is add R2 comma 6000. Here see 6000 is representing direct addressing mode or absolute addressing mode. In case of direct or absolute addressing mode, your address is part of the instruction. But where is your operand? In the memory. So see here one is instruction fetch one to get the operand from the memory location whose address is 6000 and then perform the addition operation after performing the operation result need to be written to the memory location 6000 so one more plus one so total is three this is for this one for this one it was two for this one it is three for first one it is one then next one add r1 plus comma r2 this one is auto increment addressing mode here data is in memory where is the address in register r1 but there only the story is not going to end after taking r1 as your effective r1's content as effective address we need to increment r1 to point to the next element in the list so here see nothing is given so we'll be incrementing r1 by 1 and what is r1's content whatever it is from that location the value will be taken and given to r2 so 1 plus 1 Two memory references will be required and this last one move r2 comma bracket 5000 parenthesis is 5000 this is representing memory indirect addressing mode this 5000 is part of your instruction right so from this 5000 memory location will get effective address of your operand from that address you will get your operand right this is how it works so here it is move r2 comma parenthesis is 5000 so what it will do content of r2 will be written to a memory location and that memory location is nothing but content of address 5000 means five to add address 5000 we are going to get something say the let's say that is 1000 something is there we don't know so at this address your value of r2 will be written content of r2 will be written into this location this has been done by this instruction so how many times we have referred memory this is once this is once so total for this part two for instruction fetch one so one plus one plus one is total 
how many times three times we have referred to the memory so memory references are quite easy and we already we have done so many problems on of this type so we can do it quickly now next part also we'll do it very quickly see these values are given uh, what we are supposed to do after executing this instruction we need to find these values so let's first execute it so see the this part is already there already i have discussed this is one two three two three we have seen so what is the first instruction is doing that it is moving the value 5000 into register r1 yes so r1 value will become what 5000 due to my first instruction let's do all the operations next one is move 100 r1 comma r2 so the address of the operand is what 100 plus 5000 because R1's content is given as what? It is given now already that R1 in R1 you have transferred the value 5000. Initially nothing was given but after my execution R1 is holding 5000. So R1 plus 100. R1's content is now 5000 plus 100. This will be the address of your operand. Right? So what is this number? 5100. So at address 5100 what is there in memory? 40 so that 40 is moved to r2 so after the second instruction r1 is having 5000 r2 is having value 40 this is clear next add r2 comma 6000 so what is the content of 6000 it is already given it is 90 this 90 will be added with the content of r2 and what is the value of r2 40 so see if we do any mistake in my previous instruction that effect will be there in my next instruction also so we need to do it very carefully so r2's value is 40 that 40 will be added with content of 6000 which is uh, given as 90 so 40 plus 90 easily that is 130 right where it will be written into r2 or memory location 6000 obviously memory location 6000 so see memory location 6000 will be modified by content of r2 plus Content of memory location 6000, which is supposed to be 40 and 90, that is 130. Done. Next, add R1 uh, plus comma R2. So see, in this, we are using auto increment addressing mode, right? So where is your operand? That means it will be there in register R1. Address will be there in R1. So what is R1's content right now? Till these instructions have executed, what is the value of R1? 5000. So, what is the content of 5000? That is 1000. So, 1000 plus what we have to do? Content of R2. What is the content of R2? 40. That we need to do. But only that much is not enough because this is auto increment. So, we need to modify the contents of register R1 also. Only doing the operation is not enough because as part of operand fetching, R1 has to be incremented. Right? So nothing is given as the size of operand. So by default, we'll be taking only one as your incremented value, right? So R2 equal to what? Memory location R1's content plus square bracket R2. So already I explained R1 is holding what? 5000. So 5000's data is what? 1000. So this is 1000. What is R2's content? 40. Already we have seen. So this is 40. So 1000 plus 40 will give you 1040 plus Along with this, you need to write R1 equal to 5001 because default value for increment, we are using 1. Next one is move R2 comma within parenthesis is 5000. So here 5000's content, here nowhere in between we have changed the 5000's content. So 5000's contains it was one is given as 1000. Is it a data? No, it is the address of your data. And at memory location uh, 1000, what you have to do? You have to transfer the content of R2, right? You need not have to think that what is the content of 1000 because you are not fetching the data. You are sending your value to that location. It is a memory write operation. And what is the content of R2? Already we have seen in which step? R2's content is nothing but 1040. So 1040 will be the new content of memory location 1000 yes so see what i have written memory location 5000's content that will represent what 
memory location 5000 content is 1000 and the content of memory location 1000 will be the content of register r2 and r2's content in my previous step is set as 1040 so 1040 will be transferred to the location 1000 so see though it is simple but in each instruction whatever we are doing that is impacting my next instruction also so if we do some mistake in my previous one my subsequent instruction results will be also hampered so this is though it is very simple please do it clearly and slowly then only you will not be doing any mistake right so why i have made this uh, some of these results as in red color because in the question it is given find out the value of 1000 content 5000 content 6000 content so wherever 6000 final content is coming there i made it red that means it is my one of the answer then they have asked us the value of 1000 that is 1040 and see nowhere 5000 is modified in this code so 5000 content will be 1000 only that is there next is r1 r2 so what is r1 r1's value will be 5001 please do not write 5000 that will be a wrong answer right then next is content of r2 where is the final value of r2 in this step so r2 will be holding what 1040 so this is the solution to this numerical this is a very simple numerical only you need to follow the steps systematically you will get a correct answer so thank you and in if you are getting from my video please subscribe to my channel and like my videos in my next video also, we'll be solving some more numericals. Thank you.